Here's Bill ready to make the plunge. Let's see how well he does it. Hello? Hi, Helen. What are you doing Friday night? Yes? Yes? Who is this? Ah, the days before online dating. Oh, Bill! Well, hello. At the time when awkward phone calls were considered the first move, in 1959, two undergraduate engineering students at Stanford University, Philip Filer, there in the plaid shirt, and James Harvey, developed one of the earliest computer matching dating programs. Marriage planning surface, we call that. That was a bit tongue in cheek. <laughs> I don't think anybody took it too seriously. No, in fact, it was very novel at the time. They got an A for the project which they created for a computer science course. The uh, class was centered around the IBM 650. What took us six hours to do for our project would take about two milliseconds on your current desktop computer. Yeah, the program could be up to 2,000 instructions long. After they wrote the program, they had 49 men and 49 women take a questionnaire. The first one is, do you consider yourself an introvert or extrovert? Are you patient or impatient, affectionate or unaffectionate? <laughs> the best matches were made first, and then from the remaining pool, the next best match was made and so on. At the end, it was down to one man and one woman, so it matched a Stanford freshman with a 40-something divorcee with kids. That relationship probably did not go far. The computer matching was followed by a party. The uh, couples who were matched were invited. One of the topics of conversation was how honest we were on our questionnaires. <laughs> and the same thing is true with online dating today. It's impossible to know whether someone's picture is accurate or a profile is honest, but people are still doing it. Maybe we were a little too early and we'd done it a little later when computers were not so balky. Maybe we would have decided, hey, now there is something to this. <laughs>